How's it going fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's Gene aka Ellis Turbo Integ and we got so much going on. I wanted to do a real quick vlog. It's been a while since I dropped my last video. It was just a matter of waiting on parts and tools to come in. So I was delayed for almost a week just waiting for stuff to show up. Now that everything showed up, I have to get everything ready. I do have a car show coming up on Sunday called Low and Slow. It's south of me about three hours. So if you guys are heading down to that low and slow car show, I'll see you guys there. The address, 8000 Factory Shops Boulevard, Jefferson, Ohio. And that's gonna be April 7th, so I'll be there. As you can see, I got a lot of stuff going on. I gotta get the seats back in. I'm not gonna show you what the seats look like, but if you tune into my next video, I'm gonna give you the reveal to show you what the seats look like. Also, my seatbelts from Seatbelt Planet came in, so we're gonna go ahead and knock that out as well. So that's what the video I'm gonna work on today. But like I said, this is just a vlog just to show you what's going on and updates. Also, my tires came in from Tire Rack. These are the Michelin Pilot 4S. I did go wider this time. I went with a 285 30 20. Much wider than what I have now. What I have right now are 265s. The reason I had to order new tires is on the inside tire, the steel belts are coming through. I didn't notice that until I had the car up and I was in the back looking at it. So I got the tires off guys and you can see how the belts are showing through now. Even on the other side, the other side is barely coming through but you can see that it's pretty close. But this one's pretty bad. I will say guys, riding on Michelin's, and these aren't the uh, Michelin 4S. These are the Pilot Super Sports. These are the tires I had to buy. Remember when I had, I'll post those video clips. I hit a brick on the freeway heading down to Kentucky for the Seekers car show. Being that far away from home, I really didn't have too many options as far as picking tires. I was just glad they had the size I needed and they were at least Michelin's. The fact that I messaged my situation on the 718 forum and I asked everybody about these Pilot Super Sports because that's all they had. They said, go ahead and get those, Gene. That's just the older version of the Michelin Sport 4S. Uh, that was last year and I did a lot of daily driving on it. This also are the same tires I used when I drove all the way to San Diego and then over to SEMA. So just that alone was 2,400 miles each way. So that's, that's 4,800 plus all the driving around. So that's probably about right. I probably did put about 10,000 miles because we all know that's about how long these tires are good for. Also what I noticed was besides the inner tire wear, my buddy Matt caught this and he showed it to me. Once I get the tires off, I'll do a quick video and show you guys what I'm talking about. The axle boot is actually leaking grease, actually on both sides. Just because it looks pretty fresh, uh, the way it's splattered kind of up and around, you can tell it just started. I've been on the forums, it seems like it's a very common issue for the Porsches to be leaking around that axle. I'm not sure what's going on, but it seems like the clamp gets loose, which then allows the grease to kind of spit out. But thanks to the 718 Forum, they're very helpful there. They did give me parts and links to what I need. So here's the clamps that I ordered. It actually came in a pack of 10. And the one that I was waiting for was this heavy duty clamp installer. I ordered this the same time that I ordered this. This came in like the next day, but this one took forever. Finally, it's here. So that'll be used to clamp the uh, boot down. So that shouldn't take long. So I'm gonna use this to add more grease. Fam, while I have everything up in the air, what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the oil change. I do go with the Liquid Molly SAE 0W40. Everything I order is from FCP Euro and it also includes the oil filter. And of course, here's the drain plug. It comes with a new crush washer. Also, we're gonna go ahead and change out the plugs. These are the NGKs. I ordered this also through FCP Euro. Here's also what I've been waiting for. These are the seat belt bolts from inside, not the ones that attach to the lower area. This is the one that actually holds the seat belts in place. So what happened, I mentioned in my last video, I did strip one of them out. So I went ahead and ordered two new ones. So that's what was taking a while as well. I reached out to Porsche 
and they weren't sure why it was taking so long to get this in. The seatbelts from Seatbelt Planet, I could have had them installed already, but like I said, I was waiting for these bolts to come in. So that's what I'm gonna take care of today, you guys. We'll get that seat belts in. Also, if I have time, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sole test pipe back in. I do have the Fab Speed mini pipe to help prevent that check engine light. It's not 100%, guys. It's a hit or miss. So we'll see what happens if I do get a check engine light. If anything, I'll have to get the tune done. But even with the tune, it's still not guaranteed to prevent the check engine light. We'll take care of that. Also, what I gotta get done is the intercooler from Ragdoll Motorsports. She sent me this fully polished intercooler. If you see my last video, we did go over the quality of it, but I did mention in my video that I do wanna get this fully polished. I was gonna have a machine shop take care of it, but I figure, you know what? It's gonna be underneath the engine cover. I only need the top part polished. So I went to the auto parts store and I picked up this metal polishing uh, by White Diamond. And basically I'm gonna use my Torx buffer and I'm basically gonna apply it on here and buff it out. I was told it's gonna kind of turn black, which is normal. And then after I take it down using the orange pad, I'll use my white or blue pad just to kind of polish it up and see if it actually helps give it more of a mirror finish. Anything's better than the way it looks right now. So we'll take care of that maybe later on today or tomorrow. Also, because this is a water-cooled intercooler, guys, I had to pick up these plastic clamps because I need to clamp down on two of the lines that has coolant. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. Should do the job. I didn't want to use anything metal because that would cut into the rubber coolant lines. So these plastic clamps have a locking mechanism. So once I lock it in place, it should do the job. So hopefully I know what I'm doing with that. I did get the instructions from Ragdoll Motorsports on how to install this. Also guys, what we gotta get done today is we gotta get the shift boot reinstalled. This is the one that was custom made by Porsche Mod Squad. It was done in that tart material. And also the engine cover, guys. This is just a white plastic that's covering the polycarbonate. Also the beauty board is in that tart material as well. And this is the same material for the boot as well as the seats that I had Matt do for me. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. Also, Matt sent me these LED lights that I can install underneath the clear engine cover. That way, while it's parked and say we're at a car show or like a cars and coffee event, I can turn the lights on. It'll kind of emit either a blue, white, or you know, all the different colors that LED lights have to offer. And it's all done on a app on a phone. But as far as the tires, you guys, I gotta get the tires off and drop them off at Bell Tire again. Yes, I know Bell Tire. They did rate me $45 per tire to have them mounted and balanced. So I'll have to do that again, but this time it's just the rear tires. Also guys, if you guys been keeping up with my Instagram stories, I did order that front bumper from TKD Carbon. Fully carbon fiber. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like it's gonna be in on time for Slammed Enough Ohio, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Also fam, I did order the Downstar hardware for my GT4 wing. I'm hoping it comes in sometime this week. I do have the tracking information, so hopefully I get it at least by Friday or Saturday. I'll post the ones I ordered, but it's basically all the hardwares for my lower brackets as well as the upper brackets and for the end plates. So I did go with the titanium full burnt look which pretty much is very similar to the Bono's extended titanium stud kit I have here. So I'm really hoping that turns out really well, guys. I'll have seat videos dropping. I'm gonna drop a video on the seat belts from Seatbelt Planet. Another video for the clear engine cover install. And my other video will be the Ragdoll Motorsports intercooler install as well. I've searched all over YouTube. I do not see an intercooler install for the Porsche 718 Caymans or Boxsters. So I'm pretty sure a lot of guys will be interested on how to install this. So guys, if you like the content, please consider subscribing. Hit those post notifications. That way when I drop my videos, you guys will be notified. And if you have any questions or any comments, please post them below. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Stay tuned when I drop those videos. Peace. <laughs>